it is time to show you also a tip about desktopper one of the images just came in and i've put it already in favorites and as you can see it comes from desktopper so i do recommend that you try this out this uh, website here's it is the thing is you link you make of course an account and then you link your uh, website desktopper to the dropbox account <clears throat> so you will get an uh, folder i have no problem showing it to you apps desktopper and here all the wallpapers are saved so each time i uh, press this little cloud so remove from dropbox it says here on top it has been deleted from my dropbox and i press this little button again and the image is downloaded from the net and it's now on my personal web space my personal dropbox it's on my computer so that's great for the rest you can have other filters like this hexadecimal code and you can go around uh, selecting dimensions save only you know why eh? and then edit any time most popular first use first and then filter it and see what you like and again i can show you once more let's do it with one i like this for instance i press the little cloud and on top here there we have it we have it already downloaded in on our system so it's that easy and the only thing i do for the rest i press alt t don't like this image voila better image and then i just want to show you this that standard we have of course the desktopper random wallpapers from desktopper but i edit my own personal dropbox here it is my own personal home eric dropbox which you just do by ads folders and then navigate to the place the folders are and then press add so all the folders on my dropbox have been uh, included so um, that concludes the tip for desktopper.